Hello friends, I am Dr. Edith Rukmani, Associate Professor in Computer Science Engineering Department. Today we are going to learn about something new language that is called as Python Programming Language. Dr. Babasaheb Technological University offer to view this semester one subject that is called as Python Programming. It is Python Programming carried out total 100 marks. That 100 mark distribution is following that is a 60 mark for your continuous assessment and 40 marks for your practical oral examinations. In 40 marks divided into your 2020 20 marks, that is 20 marks in for your practical performance at the time of examinations and by exam oral exam in 20 marks. 60 marks divided into your continuous assessment. Whatever you do in your practical, that time to continuous assessment to record and to assign mark to you. In this, first see the overview. What are the features of that Python program? In this Python programming, some of the features available here. What are the features? That is the first feature that is called as the simple. Python is a simple programming language, just like in your English. That means Python is a simple and minimalistic language in nature. Reading a good Python program should be like a reading English, just like you want to read English language same as a Python language. Its slow code nature allows one to concentrate on the problem rather than the languages. That means slow code is the only focus on your problem, not barrier to any language. Suppose you are you are in C language. What happens in basically C language? Suppose your syntax is missing, semicolon missing, automatic compiler shows to you your semicolon missing, that means barrier to some limitation of languages. That means proper syntax use uh, for uh, your C languages, compiler not allowed without symbol. But here, Python is the actual interpreter. They can be focused on only problem, or focus on problem that you want to perform addition of two numbers. Only you give the two inputs and output generated automatically, no need of any languages. Again, another feature that is called as easy to learn. This line is too easy to for learning purpose, free and open source. That is a what is meaning of free and open source, freely distributed and open source, maintained by the Python community. This Python language, suppose you want to install on your system Python programming, if you just go on in your www.python.org this site and that particular site you can download that particular version, those are the compatible for your system and you can run install on your system maintained by the Python community. That means some of the people handle that particular site. If any problem facing any users, you can put your query that particular site automatically your query is solved. The next feature for this language that is a high level language that is a memory management. In in the high level language C plus plus Java, there is a required of some memory. In C language required malloc, calloc, all these memory functions just like here Python also some of the memory function to be required. That again another features that is a portability, that means portable runs on anything C code will. Whatever your C code to say Python can be too. Next that is a feature interpreter. Interpreter, what is the interpreter? That means you can run program state from the source code. In there is a three phase execution of Python program. Phase first that is a Python programming, phase second that is your bytecode that is intermediate, and phase third that is your platform native language. That means you are whatever your code written in high level language converted into bytecode, that's the interpreter can convert that code into bytecode and output generated in your platform native languages, whatever your native language available, automatically <coughs> output generated for that particular languages. You can just your copy your code to another system and it will automatically work with Python platform. So you have to copy your code to another system, it can be just copy and automatically work on another system. Again, Python feature that is object oriented. What actually object oriented? That means simple and additionally support procedure language. Python is called as a procedure language, procedure programming. That means those are the C feature object oriented. A return polymorphism, <coughs> all these features are related for your Python programming. And next feature that is extensible. 
easily input other code. Not actually extensible, easily input to other code. Suppose you want to your Python code. <coughs> you want to uh, import your code to another programming language. You can easily to input. No barrier or limitations. Only code written this and this. Suppose in our case, uh, artificial intelligence. What actually, if you want to something, give an instruction to the machines. Automatically that machine could use generative Python and simply give, give to the that particular uh, electronics machines. Embedded, that is a data for electronics uh, media. Easily place your code in non-Python programming also. Extensive libraries in Python available. Extensive libraries, that is a register expression, talk generation, CGI, web browsers, ZPO, cryptography, also used for cryptography purpose. Pax Python, Twisted Python Imaginary Libraries. See the next point that is a Python issue. How to Python implement and who is implementing Python on Thumbnails in late 1980s? That is a scientist name in Jiro Van Busom. That is a detector for this Python. There is a live detector, Busom in Dutch, born in Netherlands. Christmas break board, big fan of Monty Python Flying Circus. Descendant of ABC language, he wrote Glaf functionality in Unix programming. Also working CWI, NISTN, CNRI. Also he have developed the ABC programming language. That means you only know for the starting of C language. Languages actually start from ABC. Now C is a high level language called as your C language. In 1991 Python 0.9.0 was published and reached the masses through alternate sources. Whatever your sources available to learn of that Python, that scientist zero one user learn that language on that particular available resources. Again, study of that particular language and in January 1994 Python 1.0 was released. Functional programming tools like a lambda map filter and reduce. These are the functions that is a lambda map filter reduce. Are here available all the features in your programming language that is a MATLAB and all these available with your Pythons. Again, compatibility language with Python form greatly increasing Python user base. Again, in 1995, Python 1.2 version was released. Again, by virtual 1.4 Python several new features that what are that new features that is a keyword argument similar to those of common lips, but a building support for complex numbers, basic form of data hiding through name managing the that is a easy bypass. However, whatever you want to bypass, that is a basic form of data hiding through name managing. Computer programming for everybody, CP4E initiatives make programming accessible to more people with basic literacy similar to those required for English and math skill for some jobs. Project was funded by DRPA. Computer programming for everybody was inactive at 2007, not much conservative yet in time of the programming literatures. Again, again, some research of that particular languages and in 2000. Python 2.0 was released. Introduced the least comprehensive similar to Haskell's introduced garbage collections. In 2001, Python 2.2 was released. Included a unification of types and classes into one energy, making Python object model purely object based oriented, that means object oriented feature included in Python 2.2 version only. Earlier version not any include any object oriented features. Then generator were added function like a iterator behavior standards. What types of standards available? That is a you simply click on that particular site ww.python.org that site available all the standards of Python languages. In Python <coughs> now go to for the sum these are the up to here these three now go to some of the basic types. What are the types available? String, list, tuples, then set, puzzle set, and dictionary, and hash. What is a string and unicode? That means string available two types, my string and you my string. That is a simply in C language available types. <coughs> that is for your data types, integer flow characters, simply available same here. Again, you see available array here available for the list. 
tuples. Tuples you can mutable form also and immutable form also. Set and poson set. Simply set and poson set that is remember that is a bracket. So all brackets are used. And that list of uh, array that is your value that is numerical as well as non numerical value. Then the character also in include it and dictionary or hash function what is the dictionary or hash function that is a pair of that is a group of key and value pairs we will see in later details then python types what are the python type data types available in teachers just like say teacher available 42 float 2.1.7 complex number you can also use the complex 4 plus 3j you want to perform some uh, mathematical operation complex uh, operation you can just include the python that is 4 plus 3j again boolean type true or false just like your binary conversion true and false that is really unknown this python semantic what actually semantic meaning of semantic that is semantic meaning each statement is an own semantic that is the meaning the df statement does not get executed immediately like all the statement that means using df you can using keyword df you can define your function class all these python uses dot typing or latent typing allow you polymorphism without inherit terms see carefully allow for polymorphism without inheritance otherwise what happens if you want to use polymorphism with the inheritance but python allows only language that is a polymorphism used without the inheritance this means you can just declare some variable 69 don't actually have to declare a type see carefully that example some variable equal to 69 don't actually have to declare a type print some variable plus two string some variable what happened here see strong typing cannot do operation on object not defined without explicitly asking the operation to be done that means you can define variable name is any way there will no define only variable value a equal to 5 and b equal to 6 you can define your name also x y z equal to 6 mathematical python get ready to this for that particular variable values Python syntax, some of the syntax available, that is a Python uses indentation. Indentation is an important part in your Python language. What happens in indentation? Indentation is simply called as a white place to eliminate. Statement block rather than keyword or braces. In some of the programming, that means suppose take the example of addition of two numbers. In the addition of two numbers, you can no need to define indentation. If you are mistakenly give the indentation automatically, interpreter display the errors but in both are the conditional program just like your if and else statement that type you need to be required indentation we will see in later in detail how to use that detail because one physical program assigned more indentations we here only remember for that particular indentations again same like c programming python also available conditional if else elif else statement and ok statement then loops again c programming available for loop for i loop do while here also available loops that is about one sentence that is one array define some of the values mary had a return <coughs> and lamp for using word in sentence and that is a print word length of this if you define for loop just like here define for i in range 10 print i for i in x range 1000 print i while loop while true pass in this way you can define it okay everyone know that is a c programming what happen defining for loop i equal to 0 i less than of 10 and i plus 12 but you know condition design this to define for loop or in while loop y y i less than of 10 what is the value in this way but here python you can use for your for loop that is a for i in range in this format only functions in defining python functions how to define functions simply use keyword df see here one example we are defining function name of function that is a print underscore hello that is a one function defined and brackets no argument defined on bracket that means one function defining df print hello but return nothing another example that is a df has underscore r that is a r value defined argument and r to make to 
that we define En0 then now equal to R1 plus 4 and finally R2 plus A comma 7 finally return now and my discharge argument 5516 and 1 comma D whatever the return value the display automatically again available one function that is a df duplicate n maker you can duplicate values here in this your duplicate string duplicate 3 last line see here we last line duplicate underscore string equal to duplicate 3 go that means you want to display go what three times then we simply you write down duplicate 3 go automatic output display go 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 if you want to 100 times display that go what and uh, write down duplicate 100 automatically display the 100 times to go over. Exception ending. Exception ending is an important part in every programming language because sometimes what happens, user can do the mistake, but that mistake that compiler or interpreter automatically to find out and display message on screen. See here one example that is a a equal to 1 to 3. What happened 1 to 3? Here only define 3 values in a list. Try statement a of c when is defined. a of c when equal to 0 that is 7 <coughs> defined as indices. Suppose 1 to 3 value defined and you are defining indices 0, 1, 2 because indices start from your 0 positions. That means indices 0 available 1, indices 1 available 2 and indices 2 available 3 values. If you want to define a of c1 how to find out 7? 7 is not available. That automatically display the error. That is a exception. User enter 7, but there is a not available list. Automatically display the message using exception ending. Try an except block. That is a index error part and exception. Catch everything. Then classes. Actually, if you want to define a class, then how to define that class using keyword that is a class class my vector. And within class, you can define again your functions. That is a df init one function, df gate size one functions, df gate num created one functions. That means within class, you can define your functions also. Also, some of the input output operations. That means suppose you want to some permission from the operating system. You want to some operating system file you that you need to be, take the permission for input output operating system that is a at time you can simply mention one file that is a import os that is a print os get cwt automatically whatever you want automatically operating operating system can be will be do again trading trading parts so available in your pythons in tradings that means simply trade means that means join to one thing to another Simply one thing uh, uh, to second, second to third, third to fourth, fourth to five, see right side window, whatever. There is a this is a trade one speaking, trade two, three, four, five in this speaking, and different different speaking. That is one trade connected with another. So finally, what to does Python how to do with internet and web programming? What do you use of Python? How regarding your internet and web programming? There is a J Python available and I am Pythons. Libraries, what type of library? FTLib, SNAPLib, UUIDLib, SMTPD, URL parts, simple HTTP servers, CGI, TelnetLib, CookiesLib, XML, PCLlib, simple XML, RPC server, Docs HTML, RP server. Then available so application servers, EY, Blocksome, Blogger, Moblinmon Wiki, Track, Enhance, Wiki and Tracking System. Big tour on six number but provider version that is available. Whatever the help you want, that is a Python interpreter. Simply go to for this site of Python Python.org, py ml sourcepools.net, www.py2exe.org, www.activestate.com, product active python, www.wingware.com, and python node.blogspot.com. Okay, thank you, Craig. Thank you, friends. Tomorrow we will see. Otherwise, next lecture we will see the next feature Python languages and some of the basic examples of Python languages. Thank you.